Getting ready for fall, a very small haul from Belk. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila, and I thank you so much for being here today. Well, in today's YouTube shorty video, I have a very small haul from Belk, actually just four pieces, and one of them I'm wearing. I'm trying to get ready for fall, and of course, fall here in South Carolina is still very warm, so nothing heavy, no sweaters or things like that. I'm still sticking with light and pastel colors, but just something with a little sleeve or something on it. So let me get going and show you what I have. And then I'll stand up and show you this dress. The other piece is a pair of pajamas and the other two pieces are two like blouses. And I will wear those in a future YouTube shorty video. I can't try them on because it'll make my shorty a longie. Well, of course, Belk was having another one of their fabulous sales that they always have, and I got some great reductions. So I'll start with this dress that I have on. Now, it's like a shift dress. It just kind of hangs like a sack. In a way, it kind of looks like a nightshirt, but it's comfortable, and I really like it. And this is by Wonderly or Wonder Bee. I don't know name brands or brands at all. Maybe this is a belt brand, but this is what it says. So I can't tell if that's an L or a B. Now this says petite. I am not petite. I am five foot six, but it looked good. It came to the right length that I like to wear my dresses. And I felt good in it, so I bought it. Now, this dress was $59.50. I think that's what it says. And I got it for $17.85. So, I thought that was a fair price for this. It's called an on-or-off shoulder swing dress. I tried it off-shoulder, and I didn't like the way it looked. It just, it looked funny in here, so... I guess you could wear it that way, but I like it better like this. It's very comfortable, and it's 100% cotton, and it's a little bit like that crinkly material. When I stand up, I'll get closer so you can see it. The next thing is actually a pair of pajamas. They are 65% polyester, 35% cotton. They're made by a company called Raudlin. Round lane? I have no idea. I'll just show you whoever that is. But they're very, very soft. Of course, they're in one of my favorite colors, lavender. And it came with the short bottoms and then the tank top. And the tank top has a print down here at the bottom. So I could actually wear this as an outfit outside. I mean, it's just a tank top with short bottoms. This was originally $59.50. Really? Who would ever pay that much money for something to sleep in? Not this girl. They were 70% off, so I got them for, I think that says $17.85. Now, that's still high to me for a pair of pajamas. I can get cute pajamas at Walmart for $10. But they're so soft, and they look like just an outfit I could wear outside. So, I got them. This next item is made by True Craft. It was $39.50, and I got it for $17.77. It is 60% cotton, 40% modal, M-O-D-O-L. I love it. Of course, you know I love the color. It's got a waffle pattern to it. Little cuffs here on the sleeve. It's a great length. I don't like anything too long. And then it has three buttons down the front. It appears to be more of an oversized top, but because it's cotton, 
it'll be great over a tank top. So when fall does come and it gets a little cooler in the evenings or mornings, this is gonna be just perfect. And the last piece is an oversized blouse. Again, you know I love this color. This is, I think, Nautica. It is 60% cotton, 40% viscose. I don't know, but it sure feels good. And it's, it's oversized. When I tried it on, I could tell it was oversized. It's got a good length on it, little cuff on the sleeve. It's got a pleat down the back, very lightweight, very comfortable. I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. They call it a weekend shirt. It was, I think that says $69.50. <laughs> Whoa, I would never pay that. And I got that on sale for $20.85. So that was a good deal. I know Nautica is a very good brand. I don't know about, you know, these other brands, Wonderly or Wonder B or whoever it is, but I felt like they were very fair prices. So let me stand up and show you this dress and then I'll give you my inside beauty tip. Now this dress is nothing special. I like the length of the sleeves. They come almost to the elbow. They have elastic here. And it's just like a shift dress. It just hangs straight, but it has a flow to it. And you know I love flow. It's in a dark gray with a light blue kind of print in it. And I happen to have these light blue shoes that I got a couple months ago at Belk for $18. Yeah, that was good. And here it is in the back. And again, it's just flowy. It's comfortable and a great thing to slip on. No buttons, no zippers. This is all stretchy up here. So you just step into it and you're ready to go. I happen to have this light blue bag, which turned out to be the exact color of the shoes. It's like a tote bag with this little tassel. I got it on Amazon again, maybe three or four months ago. So I thought this would make a nice outfit for going somewhere. I think it might look better with a belt. And what I needed was like a silver chain belt, which I don't have, but I have a gold one. So this isn't gonna look good, but I'll just give you an idea. You know, if you put a belt on with it, just kind of gather it like that. I thought that looked really good. So this isn't what I would normally buy, but the comfort was so good and the price was good. And I thought, well, it's time to try something a little different. So I'm happy with it. When I bought it, I wasn't sure and I thought, well, I'll use it as a nightgown because it's so soft and so comfortable and the price was so good. So it would make a cute nightgown if you wanted to wear it that way. And you could also put this on over top of a bathing suit if you were going to the beach or like I did, put a pair of heels on with it and it's my dress. So I got up closer so you could see the print and you can see it's a little like crinkly type material. Well, now I'm gonna leave you with an inside beauty tip. And last week I read you 10 of the 30 life principles from Dr. Charles Stanley. And so I'm gonna read the next 10 and then next Sunday when I do my YouTube shorty, I'll read the last 10. And these are life principles to live by each and every day. All right, number 11. God assumes full responsibility for our needs when we obey him. 12. Peace with God is the fruit of oneness with God. 13. Listening to God is essential 
to walking with God. Number 14, God acts on behalf of those who wait for him. 15, brokenness is God's requirement for maximum usefulness. 16, whatever you acquire outside of God's will eventually turns to ashes. 17, we stand tallest and strongest on our knees. 18. As children of a sovereign God, we are never victims of our circumstances. 19. Anything you hold too tightly, you will lose. And 20. Disappointments are inevitable. Discouragement is a choice. When you think about those life principles, it's all true. It's all in the Word of God. And these are just daily principles that can guide us through our life, that can lift us up when we're down, and they are great reminders of who God is and who we can be if we just follow his word. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!